So pretty much this week at this point is going to be Egyptian God week because I'm doing a lot of Egyptian God videos. You know, I did my Slifer video the other day, and then this past weekend we did the three edit Egyptian God duel featuring Mia Slifer, Dion as Raw, and Dado's Obelisk. But what I wanted to do today is I kind of want to showcase the deck that I was using this past weekend because a lot of people didn't understand how it worked. The biggest misconception that I saw was a lot of people were just saying I was using the same Dark Magician deck that I normally do with one Slifer inside it, which was not the case at all. <laughs> it uses the Dark Magician engine, and a lot of people that I assume don't play the game don't understand that because they see the same like four cards. The way the Dark Magician engine works is you have Magician's Rods so you can fish out cards such as uh, Dark Magic Circle and Soul Servant. The thing about this deck, this is the dumbed down version of my main deck, is even though this is more dumbed down, it still draws a lot. The whole concept is you want to use Soul Servant to draw if you have Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl in the field or graveyard. If you also get the Dark Magicians out, you can keep drawing every time a spell trap is activated. And the whole idea is, is you want to fish out the cards that go into your Divine Beast. Now this version actually uses Obelisk, which by the way you should probably change. I actually just changed this recently. And the whole concept is, is you want to use True Name, which you did not see in the video, because I never drew it! Ah! God, look, I get people like to critique stuff when, when they see it, and I'm all for it. But the thing is, is a lot of people were just saying that I was using the exact same deck that I normally do, when that's not the case at all. This is the God deck that I was using. Actually, two changes. Instead of having two Skill Drains, I had two Soul Crossings. And I also had two Seeker Villages instead of Magician Combination. And I believe I had two Upstarts in that deck. Essentially, this morning I got on here and I wanted to kind of like play as Obelisk because I never really do. And I took Life Route for Obelisk. The whole concept of this deck is the reason why this works well is true name. The way it works is you declare the top card of your deck. And if you're correct, you have two options. Either you can fish out your Divine Beast or two, you can summon it. So if you want, if you happen to have Skill Jane on the field, you can use either Soul Servant or Dark Magic Circle to see what's on top of your deck and then play True Name and then Special Summon Obelisk are free. Problem is, when you Special Summon a God card, it gets sent to the grave at the end of the turn. However, if Skill Jane is active, that gets negated. So essentially, you have a 4,000 attack beast stick on the field. So that's kind of how this deck is supposed to work. It still sucks. <laughs> it still sucks. However, we are in casual mode once again where you can kind of like show stuff off like this. And without further ado, let me show you what was supposed to be seen this past weekend and you didn't get to see it. I didn't try it! All right, also I just realized I never changed the name, so the name still definitely is Slifer Dark Magician, which is supposed to be Obelisk. The thing about the Dark Magician setup is it works really well as an engine. You know, it uses about 20 cards. Uh, Dark Magician cards will always use the same 20 cards, so Soul Servants, Dark Magic Circles, Magician Souls, Magician's Rod, because the idea is the more you thin out your deck, the better chance you have to draw whatever you're looking for. This is not that great of an opening hand, I think. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and summon Magician Souls first. And this is what happens. I mean, the second I turn the camera on, I don't get the luck that I need. <laughs> ah, but it is what it is. And we're going to go ahead and summon Dark Magician, I guess, in attack mode. Then we're going to go into Magician's Rod. And I think what I'll do is, I think my best bet, honestly, is to just go into Circle. We're going to play this. And so we got kind of what we need. Let's grab this. And actually, you, you'll be able to see how this works. So we're going to go ahead and do this and that. There's no point in setting this. But I'll set it for now. I'm going to just end my turn. So, if I don't get absolutely blown up here in a second, the way this is going to work is I'll be able to get... Uh, I forgot what the other card was. Oh, my God. I forgot. I can't believe I already forgot. <laughs> I was so focused on talking. Why does this not show you? Plan B. We have a plan B. It's fine. What are you using? Sanctuary in the sky? Perfect. I'll show you plan B here in a second. When in doubt, there's option number two. Whoa, what are you doing? Shining Angel. Let's see what happens. Okay, so they're just gonna. Okay, I see what they're gonna just crash into me here, which is fine, I guess. My life points. I probably should have negated a special summon if I can be real, but it's fine. Are they gonna do it again? Interesting. What am I? What am I gonna see here? I was gonna say, how many times did y'all loop that? Bro, what? I wish I could flip this. I wish I could flip that, but I can't. Am I dead here? I definitely should have negated that first one. Did they win here? That's a better question. That's all they were able to do. Okay, 
and a pot of avarice so they can draw twice. That was uh, definitely creative, I'll say that much. Oh, they're trying to do it again. Except for next time, I'll be able to play Effect Veiler and stop that from happening, so it's fine. All right. Now let me show you how this works out. <gasps> so we got True Name in my hand now. What we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and play Magician's Rod. Actually, what I want is to Soul Sermon, actually. And we're going to do... We're going to put Magician's Salvation on top. I have it in my hand. Never mind. I don't have to do that. So instead... Let's do this, actually. Put that on top. So... Then you do true name. You're gonna do secrets of dark magic. Now the best part about this setup is if you call it correctly, you also get to draw it. So I draw it, and I get to summon a monster. So we're gonna bring out Obelisk over here, like that. Boom! And then we do this. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this and grab the Dark Magicians so we can start drawing. Bring you out, there you go. And then we, let's just go ahead and activate this so we can draw. And what I need right here, hmm. Um, oh, that's a magic cylinder. If it is, it's gonna be hilarious. Yes, draw again. Draw again. Upstart Goblin, perfect. So we can draw one more time. You see what I was, what I was going for with this? Give me. Oh, that actually works well, too. And then we just go for a massive attack here. Can I attack? Do I win here? Find out. And then 4,000. Hey, it worked out. So this is why you want... This is why you want to have the, the skill gen here as well. Because skill gen will keep it on the field. Not everyone's favorite card, but again, this is supposed to be just like a creative way for... The three god cards to be used in the video. And again, if you only see like one, you really only saw one duel, you're not going to see the full engine of it, the full extent of it. All right, what do you do here now? Oh, God. I see that they got kaijus in this deck, too. And they grabbed the kaiju because they're smart. I still got to draw here because they activated a spell. Give my card. Yes. Duro. Duro. Metal reflect slime. Yes, I must set that. Hello? That's fine. I'm, I'm done with that anyways. Nice. So now we do Eternal Soul. We bring out Dark Magician. Let's get rid of this stupid card. We saw a little banish over here. Bam. And then we're going to go ahead and pop both of the uh, Metal Reflect Slimes. So something else, which you saw in the video, is if you have two Egyptian God Slimes on the field. I forgot to activate the second one. You actually can't attack anything. And then, there's the, there's the key right there. Mound of the Bound. Mound of the Bound is a big key here. Because what that does, is it allows you to not get your level 10s targeted and destroyed. So, you could technically put more than one God card in your deck. But I don't recommend it. Because True Name allows you to search it. If you have multiple, the last thing you want is to have like two obelisks and you open your hand. You would literally just lose at that point. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into Black Lost of Soldier as well. Using these three. Over here. And then you go into... I mean, you've seen this before. You activate Eternal Soul to bring out Dark Magician and then banish their monster. So yeah, that's that's how the deck was supposed to work. But I don't control RNG. If I have a bad opening hand, then it is what it is. All right, and, and then they're out here. So yeah. That, but with Slifer, is how it's supposed to work out. Also, another card that I had in the original deck was Thunder Force Attack for the meme. It's not a good card, just because most of the time it is a brick, but if you do pull it off, it is very satisfying. What it does is it destroys, I think, as many monsters as possible. And if you activate it during your main phase, you get to draw for every card destroyed or monster destroyed. So that's also another card. You can't respond to it, which is another cool thing. But yeah, that, 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 that's what I was going for. You didn't get to see it. Now, I will say this. I do not recommend you guys to go and build this deck. Number one, it's expensive. All iconic anime cards are URs for some reason. You're not going to get far. Even if you play with your friends, you're probably going to have a bad time. So I don't recommend it. But if for whatever reason you want to try your own variation, just go for it. It's fun, like I said. And we got a really, really good opening hand. Spirals? Yeah, let's go ahead and stop that from happening. Was that the right call? Do they have call by in their hand? They don't. Okay. Harmonizing Magician. Okay. 
Time Star. Do I lose here? Does this set up a crazy board where I just can't play? Oh, no, it's all they do. Okay. Effect Veiler would have been great last turn. Okay, well, what sucks here is I can't really do anything. Okay, actually, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Yep. Think of the Dark Magic on top. Because, true name. I'm going to do secrets. Whoa, look at that. I guessed it right. How did I know? And then we get to draw it. And we also get to... No, I'm just going to add it to my hand. Add it to my hand. Obelisk. Perfect. Now, I can do Secrets of Dark Magic. Activate it to draw. We're going to get two draws here. Yes! Draw! I think my best bet here is going to be to grab Magician Salvation and not this. You always got to have a second plan. If your deck is based around one singular card, you're not going to have a good time. Because then you just lose at that point. I'm going to set it. I should probably... Well, no, if I attack, this is just going to be a crash. You know what? That's that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to activate this. They're going to pop this. Watch this. Yep. This is going to gain 1,000. Oh, no, it's 3,000! Did I not read? Oh, 1,200, not 1,000! I, I, for some reason, my brain now is like only a thousand attack. Oh, and they're protecting it. Okay. Well, now I can actually activate this and thin out the deck a little bit. So you bring you out. And bring you out. <gasps> Boom! Perfect. Main phase two. And now we set this. So if everything works out, I should be able to get... Oh, no, 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 I sh I, not yet, not yet, not yet. So this is what we have to do. We have to link you away. Link you away. Actually, I could have done it uh, next turn. I don't have to do that right now. I'm stupid for that. Whatever. Let's see what happens. They have two, three cards in their hand. Do they have enough to do like a crazy combo here? And I have two negates. I have an Ash to stop search, and I can also call by if they, activate, if they summon something else. Okay. Ooh. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what we do is we pop Eternal Soul. And because of Salvation, I also get Dark Magician Girl out. W what was the point of that? Oh, that sucks a lot. That sucks a lot. I don't think I can get around that. What? What's the best draw here? The best draw will be Dark Magic Circle, and then have a Eternal Soul on top. We 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 can we can do that. We can definitely do all of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and grab Dark Magic Circle, and then draw twice. Because we have Dark Magician and Girl in the graveyard. <gasps> they do. Ooh, and Upstart. Play Dark Magic Circle. Can I have... Ooh, I can! Yes! Let's grab Eternal Soul. So we, we got the play that we wanted. Let's do this just in case. Because I already have one. And then we Upstart. There you go. So my next draw is going to be Call by the Grave. You know what? Actually, let's, let's do it in the draw phase. Right now. I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to banish you right away. I hope I read the entire card and it doesn't say anywhere that this card is unaffected by, by effects. I will say, this deck is very satisfying when it works. It's just you cannot play it in higher level rank at all. Because you see how slow it is? Usually my Dark Magician set up by now, I have a lot of protection. Supreme King, are you in a graveyard? Oh, we can, we can, we can do that. Ash! What do you have in your graveyard? So we have Harmonizing Magician, White Wing, Black Fang, and then Time Star. Okay. Ooh, I cannot stop that though. And then they're gonna grab my Dark Magician prop. Well, actually, you know what? They just misplayed because I'm un unaffected, so that does nothing. Classic. <laughs> hey, I also don't read, so it's fine. My Dark Magician. Okay. There's my call by the grave. Okay. So, 
Well, I have to do this. We bring out Eternal Soul. And then we do this. To get rid of it. Some damage here. And honestly, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! So they're probably going to leave after this. Because the idea that I have is, is I want to be able to banish whatever they bring out. Okay, let's see what happens. So I have two call buys to prevent their core cards from being played. But they're probably going to just, like, quit here. Supreme King, no. Just going to get rid of that. Oh, perfect. And then we pop Eternal Soul to banish that. It's when you get three special summons on a field like this because of Salvation and Eternal Soul always looping. Ooh, they were desperate. Is I get to do this now. So I summon you like that. Also, I got Magician Soul too, which is fire. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Why not? No, 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 no. I messed up. That's fine. That's that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. We can just do this still. Yes, let's just go ahead and banish this because why not? And activate salvation. Because, you know, best girl. And then we're going to finish the job by punching him really, really hard with obelisk. And now we attack. Boom! And then fist of fate or whatever it's called. Bam! Bam! Boom. <laughs> so that's, that's how this deck is supposed to work. But I can't control draws because if if fate gives me the same three cards that you're usually used to, it's really easy to assume that it's the same deck. Look, man, the Dark Magician engine is actually really, really good. And once the actual support comes out in a couple of months now, because you don't know when it's going to happen, but once we start getting the actual support, like Illusion of Chaos, this deck is going to be way more consistent, and I can't wait for that to happen. But yeah. Anyway, so that's Obelisk, a.k.a. It was supposed to be Slifer this past weekend. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you did. And I guess uh, stay tuned for more. And maybe we can do another run back with the idiots featuring these same decks again in the future. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Peace.